I have red wine. I am happy. I got my music on. And I was like, what are you craving? What are you in the mood for? And then the kids were like, let's make meatballs. And I was like, hey, you can't get more comfort food than meatballs and spaghetti on a snow day with a good glass of Merlot. And let's hang out and let's do it. I had it all at home. So, ground beef. Not only do I have the ground beef, I have the veal and pork mix in there. We gonna put some sausage in our sauce. Cause sausage in your sauce makes everything better. Um, and then we got the basics. So let's get this going. Big pot of sauce already boiling over there. Not boiling, simmering. So the sausage itself, I get hot and sweet. I'm not gonna lie, bartender Bill went to the grocery store and he, he bought chicken spicy sausage instead of pork, but it's fine. We're gonna make it work. We can work with what we got. So we have regular sweet Italian sausage and then we have spicy chicken sausage. No one's gonna know the difference anyways. I just read the label and it gave me a reason to bust this chop, so. Sausage on the side because we're gonna pan sear that. But the meatballs, we're gonna make, scoop, and put on my sheet pan. I normally bake, but because I'm gonna brown up the sausage and I want a little bit of that fat to be added to my sauce, I'm gonna pan sear all my meatballs today too and a little bit of oil, get the nice crusty shell and finish them in my sauce. What's going in our bowl? The meat. I had around, I think it was seven or eight Christinis left over from a cheese board I made. So I just threw it in my bullet to make breadcrumbs, just so I have a little bit extra. I also do have the 4C breadcrumbs. I do add a shitload of Parmesan to my, I want, I want flavor. I'm not making crappy tasting meat. Um, oregano, garlic powder, and what else did I put in here? Thyme, a little bit of thyme. I really couldn't remember because there was so much going on. I was getting the kids in the snowsuit. Um, and now I have some fresh parsley I'm gonna chop up and we gotta get a little bit of garlic and onion in here as well. Real garlic and onion. I like to like chop them real fine. Now, some people might add basil into their meatballs. I don't because I have basil in my sauce and then I add it at the end, like as a fresh note. Um, but I do chop up fresh parsley, real fine to go in there. You could use dry if you have that at home, but I like the fresh better, especially when you're doing this kind of stuff, like meatloaf or whatever. So a really good chop. Same things with the onions and the garlic. You can um, small dice, I'm gonna pretty much mince small dice it. You can uh, saute it and add it in cooked, I'm putting it in raw because it's gonna get cooked anyway. Inside, it's really for preference, what you like, how much work or extra work you wanna put in. A bunch of parsley is nicely chopped. Drop it in your bowl. Eggs, so this is the family size portion of just the ground beef, let alone I added in um, pork and veal. So I'm going with four eggs. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't follow a recipe. I eyeball it and in the mix, like as far as the texture and mixture is concerned. So in here we have everything, our meat, our onions, our garlic, our parsley, our seasoning, our Parmesan cheese, our breadcrumb. And now you get down and you get dirty. You start by turning and moving. If it's wet, I do have a little bit of extra breadcrumbs. If it ends up being too dry, which I don't think it will be, I'll end up adding another egg. Um, it's really about testing it out. You know, trial and error is what I was trying to say. It's really about trial and error. Um, but you wanna like turn it and mush. Turn it and mush. Let me show you from this end. Turn it and mush. Incorporate it at all. Um, I actually think I have a really good mix here. Okay. Um, I'm going to use an ice cream scooper to scoop. We've done this enough times, you know the trick. Spray inside your scooper because then when you go to scoop, so it's gonna be a little extra, take around, scoop. I think this is the perfect size meatball. I don't think you need anything bigger. Um, so see, no meat stays in. Packing, wiping it down. Now, you can go at the end and roll them real good if you want. You can be lazy and just leave, not lazy, 
and be efficient and just work and just scoop and put out. But, you know, depends on what you're in the mood for. I'm gonna take them, scoop, and we'll, because I have time, and my kids are not here to bother me. So I'm actually enjoying myself in the kitchen right now. I'm throwing on an apron because when it comes to pan searing or whatever, I don't feel like splattering all over my clothes. So we got five, one, two, three, four, five, three, 30, five, 42 meatballs. 42 meatballs out of the two family size pack, which one was beef and the other one was the veal pork mix. So that's 42 meatballs and then we have nine sausages. Um, big pan oil. If you can see, I'm not putting like five inches of oil to fry. I'm literally using it to like a little bit more than half an inch just so that I can sear them. Nice set of tongs to do it. Picking up your meatballs nice and rolled. I start from the outside. It's starting to sizzle. I start from the outside and I work my way in. I also don't use really high heat on this because I want, I don't want them to burn. I want them to um, brown on all sides. Um, side note, once they're in, in the pan with the oil and they start bubbling like this, leave them alone. Don't move them around, don't shift them, don't keep shaking them around because all you're gonna do is never get them to sear whole. Um, so, if you're nervous about using your hands because it is bubbling and boiling, you can uh, use a set of tongs, but pretty much, let me just do one of these so you can see. That's how many I got in my pan, and they are gonna sear now and get golden brown and delicious, and then I have a clean pan uh, for them to go on. Before we put them in our sauce pot that's actually on behind you, but you can't see it because you are looking at me. Well, Lauren, how do I know when to flip the meatballs? Shake them, see that, you shake them? It's time to flip. So you come through. Oh yeah, see that golden brownness? Turn them around. Oh yeah, golden brownness. The reason you don't touch them is because they keep cooking, the fat releases, the meat caramelizes and cooks, and then they don't stick to the pan. That's why like the other day when we did the turkey burgers and I said, leave them alone! Leave them alone! The reason is, we want a nice golden brown. We want them to do their thing. People are always in a rush. You can't rush perfection, people. My meatballs out. I've let them rest. I did use a rack to let them drip, just for that extra grease. I mean, I want the fatty flavor that it, like you know, that's in the meat. I don't want it greasy though. So let's get our big pot of sauce and drop these suckers in there to keep cooking. I'm not playing around here, okay? Oh shit, there goes my spoon. Anyways, here's my big pot of sauce. It's been going for a couple hours now. You can see where it started, where it's been cooking down to. Literally, that is the size of the pot. If I keep going back, you can see me in the pot. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna drop your meatballs and your sauce. I'm gonna let this go for probably another half an hour. And I am going to cut up around a cup of fresh basil, season with some fresh ground pepper, and we're gonna cook some spaghetti. And same thing with the sausage. I like to put it in whole. Uh, you can cut it in half. Actually, I might cut a couple pieces in half. Um, and then we'll have dinner. It smells outrageous in here! To all the meatballs have been added. Like I said, I do not add um, basil when I'm making my meatballs. I add it at the end, fresh basil. I seasoned it with salt and pepper. It's on super low, just simmer. This is a huge pot, people. So. Big, big, big thing with this is you can make this by the quart containers, freeze it, label what's in there, and then you can always just take it out as needed, and you have dinner. 